I'm Mike Russell. In this series, we'll look at recording, editing, and mixing audio in Studio One. So let's start by recording and editing in Studio One. Just like you, I'm new to Studio One. I've edited for decades. But Studio One and PreSonus is fairly new, although I know that PreSonus makes some fantastic hardware, so I think their software is equally going to be good. I know this is targeted very much at musicians, mastering and recording, but we can also record and mix uh, our own vocals and other bits as well. So let me start off with Mike Test as the name. It's going to record into the Studio One Songs folder, sample rate 44.1, which is absolutely fine. Don't want any files, want to start with a clean new area to work from so click OK and here we are this is what you'll see when you first load Studio One and we can get started recording with ease but the first thing we need to throw down a track it's kind of similar to Pro Tools in that sense so you could go to the track menu and select add tracks or you could just hit the T on your keyboard that's simple enough right and then I can choose audio instrument automation or folder I'm recording audio, so that will work perfectly for me, and I'll call this Mike VO, so I know exactly what I'm doing here. Click OK, and there's my first track. OK, now I can really do things. I can, for instance, hit record, record and, and of course, course I'm, I'm hearing, hearing a, an, an echo, echo back. back. That's, that's my, my voice. voice. Switch off monitor, and that's not so distracting anymore. And then to record, I just go down to the transport controls at the bottom of Studio One and hit record. Hello, this is Mike Russell for the very first time recording into Studio One to find out what it's capable of and how to use things inside it. And I must say, I like the interface. It's pretty, it's slick, it's really cool. Everything looks nice. They've done this well. Let's switch off the record here and let's see if we can just play back by hitting play. Now, of course, it starts playing from where the cursor is. So I'll need to move that cursor back to the start and hit play. Hello, this is Mike Russell for the very first time recording into Studio One to find out what it's capable of. Okay, that's pretty cool. That works really nicely. Now I can, of course, select items and of playback, but it's not playing back my how to selection, interestingly. It just keeps going. But I can select and, and I can also move if I go to the bottom of the audio. So at the top, I'm doing selecting, and at the bottom, I'm doing movement of audio in time. Of course, I've got bars and beats up here, uh, but I can always change the time base from bars to seconds so I can work in time if I'm used to working in time that's a possibility and my transport controls down here will reflect that uh, now you'll see I can go to the start and just like with other DAWs I can trim in here and I can trim the outro here so that's all neat and tidy and if I want to throw down another track T it's as simple as that and we'll call this Mike Guest say I was doing a podcast for instance and then I could go place my cursor here and say and here's another recording. But notice nothing's laying down. Got to enable the track, track to, record, to record. Switch off monitor. Place the cursor where I want to record. And here's me a second time recording something else. I like the way it changes from green to then its track default color after the record has finished. So already we've got something really great here. So I've got all my controls up at the top, the opportunity to select a range or indeed select at the bottom and move around in time. But if I hold down command or control and left click, I can actually choose a secondary icon. So an alternate tool. And I might go for the split tool instead. I've got eraser, paint, mute, all these things. Bend is a good one I'll be covering in a future video let's go for the split as my secondary tool and now you can see i can select a range i can do all of that stuff i can still move around but if i hold down the command key or control on pc i can actually do a split here and here and then i can move separate little bits around like this just this bit and i can cut bits out and do kind of cross fades if i need to by taking this bit and moving it and fading it over like so and all of this is possible uh, it's a real cinch to get started recording and editing in studio one i think i'm really going to like it and keep watching me for my journey on studio one and how to do various things like compression and cross fading and all the things we need to do when we're editing audio if you've got any questions for me or you make any discoveries yourself about studio one let me know in the comments down below and keep subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this one.